So you just hit max level and you get a strange pop-up that says enter the fractals of the mist. So you follow the instructions and enter this weird interstellar vibe space station and you are so confused. You are so confused that you just decide that eh, I'll get to this later and move on to something else in open world or finish the story playthrough and whatnot. I need you to stop right there. The Fractals of the Mist are one of the best ways to grind gear and gold at the same time and is something that you shouldn't skip on. This is the new player's guide to the Fractals of the Mist in Guild Wars 2. This is also a great time to join Fractals and start doing them as they have just added a new Fractal to the roster. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First, let's go ahead and cover what Fractals are. These are small dungeon style instances that have unique maps, bosses, mobs, and mechanics. These scale in difficulty upon higher and higher levels with tougher mobs, harder hitting mechanics, and even a scaling dot that affects you when you take damage. The basic way that you climb to level 100 is that you complete Fractals higher than your current personal level. Each fractal completed higher than your current will increase your personal level by one. Even if the fractal is level 50 and your personal level is nine, you will only move up to level 10. Each one of these dungeons has their own unique bosses and zones that require coordination and skill from an entire party of five members to complete. The fractal of the Miss Lobby is created by whoever enters the lobby first, but it can be adjusted to scale up and down depending on which fractal they wish to complete. Meaning if you are a fractal level 100 and want to take it down to level five for a friend, you can. But why do we do fractals? Fractals offer some incredible rewards for completing them. Everything from little chests to loot bags, end of dungeon chests, and even a daily reward chest. Lots of chests. You get the daily reward chest by doing a couple of the suggested daily fractals, which are broken into four tiers of difficulty. Each tier has a few daily ones that you can complete and do to earn that fractal reward chest. These grant you some seriously lucrative rewards like ascended level gear, ascended level crafting materials, and lots of agony infusion, which I will cover here in a minute. Remember that ascended level gear has the highest stat values possible in game, meaning it can be considered the best gear. It also drops fractal encryption keys, which can be used to open fractal encryption boxes. These drop some agony infusions as well as a lot of junk. But why do we care about that junk? Well, that junk can be sold to vendors for some easy gold. Not to mention that it can drop some great crafting material and a chance at some of the crafting recipes for ascended armor and weapons. Okay, so how do we hop onto this loot train? Well, first let's talk about how the difficulty scales up. The major one that directly affects you every time you enter higher fractals is agony. Starting at fractal level 20 and higher, enemy and boss attacks apply agony. Agony deals increasing scaling percentage damage depending on which level you are on. This is countered by agony resistance, which comes from those agony infusions that I have been mentioning previously. You can also purchase larger infusions from this guy here in the mist's lobby, exchanging some of those lower tier agony resistance for higher tier. The agony resistance reduces the damage taken from agony, and these infusions can only be slotted in ascended or legendary gear. Typically, early on you'll have access to ascended rings, amulets, and accessories, which can be slotted with those infusions, and that can easily cover your early levels. The next way fractal scale in difficulty are the mislock instabilities. These start at level 26 and continue to grow up to level 51 and 76. Each of those levels will add an additional instability. These mislock instabilities add a unique effect such as boon overload, which reduces the maximum health for your character for each boon that you have active on you, or stick together, which increases the damage you take by 25% if you are not near an ally. These add unique effects that will change how your route will go depending on that instability. Ability. At level 71 and higher, every time a player is down, a Fractal Avenger will appear and attempt to finish off the ally. They can be killed or interrupted to stop this process, or if the player is able to teleport out of range of the finish. Also pay note that one of the instabilities is the Fractal Vindicator instability, which spawns a Fractal Vindicator that deals immense damage to the down player and will not despawn until it is killed. Adding to this, if a player is defeated, there are no waypoints. The player will either have to be res by their allies or teleport back to the most recent checkpoint once the group is out of combat. Okay, so how can we make this easier? First, let's go ahead and take a look at the mastery tracks for the fractals. These give a number of benefits like bonus rewards, special vendors inside the Mistlock Observatory, and even how to unlock 
mistlock singularities inside the fractals, which grant five free agony resistance when activated. Next, the consumable fractal potions, either offensive, defensive, or mobility. These can stack, and depending on the fractal attunement mastery level you have, can even earn you more bonuses. Make sure to like and subscribe for more caffeinated content. The fractal of the mist lobby, the mistlock observatory, is located right here within Lion's Arch. When you approach the sanctuary, you are greeted with this screen, showing the four different tiers of your fractals, as well as your personal fractal level and your personal agony resistance. The ones noted with the daily tier one or tier two or tier three or tier four will show you which ones are a part of the daily fractal rewards, which grants an extra chest at the end of that particular fractal level. Once here, if you want to adjust the fractal level, you go up to the scale setting sequencer which will allow you to change which one you are focusing on, which is indicated up there at the top right. To enter the particular fractal that you are working on, enter this particular zone right here, and you'll be greeted with a screen that says Fractal Transit Query. And once all party members have agreed on, you will enter the fractal. To check out some of the vendors, you go down this path and take this teleporter. Over here, you'll see a number of vendors, all offering different items. This vendor here offers some exotic gear as well as some bags in exchange for fractal relics, which is a currency earned just by completing them. More importantly, I would like to identify the deeply discounted fractal encryption key, which can be exchanged for one fractal relic and 20 silver. You can only purchase 30 of them per day. So saying that you complete five or six fractals, you may very well get up to 30 fractal en encryption boxes. And this is just a cheap way to purchase them. You can also purchase a number of ascended recipes utilizing those fractal relics, which is again, a currency within this game mode. This vendor here is probably the most important one that I would like to highlight. And this is the one related to agony infusions. As you go through your fractals, you will consistently earn plus one agony infusions. And the idea is that you can constantly scale these up and purchase larger agony infusions for your gear. Now, most armor only has one slot of agony infusion, whereas most weapons have two if they're two handed. Some of the agony infusions even offer important stats that you can attribute into your gear, adding a slight advantage over just the infusions, such as improving condition damage, improving power, or even improving concentration. As you go through the fractals, you will consistently gain more agony infusions, allowing you to slot higher and higher so that you can continue to climb higher and higher in fractals. This vendor here goes ahead and offers a lot of ascended level rings and amulets that you can purchase utilizing pristine fractal relics, which is another currency that is found in this game mode. You will also find a laurel merchant here, which is very similar to the one that's featured in Lion's Arch. But what's important about the Laurel Merchant is that you can also purchase some ascended level gear, mainly rings and amulets. This merchant here will allow you to purchase infinite Mist Mobility, Mist Defensive, and Mist Offensive potions, which have unlimited uses inside the fractals. This vendor also offers some ascended level gear that you can purchase, both the armor as well as the weapons. This gear can only be purchased by having a little bit of gold, having Grandmaster, Armorsmith, Mark, or depending on the armor tier, Leatherworking, or Tailors, depending on the crafting level, as well as the Fractal Research pages and the Fractal Relic currency. Now, what's important to note about the Fractal Research pages is that you can get a guaranteed drop by doing the daily fractals, which will nullify this requirement pretty easily. This vendor also allows you to be able to purchase the recipe to craft the Grandmaster Tailors marks. There's a couple of ways that you can get them, either through crafting or my personal favorite, which is player versus player. This vendor over here is for account augmentations, which requires a good amount of fractal relics, a piece of gold, as well as an integrated fractal matrix, which can be purchased from some of the vendors here. What's important to note is that this is a permanent unlock for your account. So for the Fractal Empowerment Level 1, you will get an extra writ of Tyrion Mastery, which can offer a bit of experience for lower level characters on your account. The Karmic Retribution grants you a bit of karma for the final chest of every Fractal you complete, as well as you can get Agony Impedance, which adds Agony Resistance to all characters on your account every time that they enter into the Fractals. There also features a Banker, 
as well as a black line trading post. This vendor over here will actually offer you some of the mist potions that you can purchase for a small amount of fractal relics and a little bit of silver. In reverse, you could actually sell one of the potions that you get as a random drop for some fractal relics. And this vendor here is just your basic merchant. This vendor here just sells you salvage kits as well as gathering material. Also, as a side note, this Azura is actually featuring the legendary backpack that you can complete by doing fractals, which is called Ad Infinium. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so how do we get started? So the first few things that I would recommend getting started in fractals is first getting a few pieces of exotic gear to start. Exotic gear is just under Ascended and Legendary in gear in stat value and should be more than enough to get you into this game mode. You will get some pieces of Ascended accessories early on, which you can use for those Agony Infusions that will help you progress into the mid tiers before you get Ascended armor and weapons. Second, I would recommend earning a few, if not all of the masteries for the Fractal Mastery tracks. It just makes everything simplified. Lastly, I would also recommend joining a group or a guild of regulars. Having a semi-dedicated or a dedicated group will 110% increase your efficacy with progressing higher levels as well as many players have reason to progress these from the beginning, even if they've already completed the fractals on their other characters. This is because each unique character has a unique fractal history. If you are a level 100 fractal god on your Ellie and then you make a thief, the thief will have to start at level 0 and grind all the way back up, gaining their own agony infusion and their own personal level. So there's always a reason to go back. All right, that should be enough to get you started into fractals, as well as getting ready to tackle higher tiers. If you are a fresh level 80 and not sure what to do, this video is for you. Stay caffeinated, folks.